and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. I'm working on a dynamic floral or crystal flower as it's called on the canvas itself. This one is from k -tiered. So far I've only done it in a whip and waffle. Uh, we shall see if I get some more done when Cosmic Trip is finished. Uh, but I'm using the white tray. I do really like the rhinestones in the white tray. I find they look, they're so much easier to see. Um, all the reflectiveness of the rhinestones can make them a bit trickier um, to see their normal diamonds. So I'm loving using the white tray for them and I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to use the zesty one. I'm pretty sure I used the big Add More Zest one last week, or last time I did it, sorry, which was week before last. Um, so yeah, I thought let's use the zesty version today. Let's zoom you in actually, might be an idea. Zoom you all the way in. I have got quite a big section uncovered. So I'm sort of, I've got all this bit over here, but then I've uncovered quite a lot last time. But I'm gonna start working from here and work my way over. I hope everybody is having an awesome Easter. Silly me, never, never quite get, I kept getting the weekend for Easter wrong. I kept thinking in my head it was next weekend, is it, is it not? So I'm filming this a little bit early. Um, I have two of the girls at home because it's Easter holidays. So I've been able to film in the week. Um, so yeah, I'm filming this a little bit early so that I can have Easter weekend off. Probably get some tasks done around the house that have sort of been putting off for a little while. Uh, we're currently getting tiles put up in the kitchen my brother-in-law is being a star and doing those for us. Uh, but there's a couple of other bits that I want to do in the kitchen. A couple of touch-up touch up paint bits and things like that. So I might get some of those done. I've been meaning to touch up the windowsill in the kitchen since we had it done. Uh, touch up the paintwork on there. And I'd like to get it done before he gets to tiling that part or tiling around it. It'll be a lot easier when I don't have to be precious about where the paint's going <laughs> and just avoid the window. But I don't have to worry about the sides because it's going to be tiled. Uh, but yeah, I hope you're all having a great weekend. I have quite a few comments to go through so we'll see how many I get through in today's whip and waffle. I'm not planning on any particular size section but I will be keeping half an eye on normally it's sort of how long my memory card, how often my memory card resets gives me a rough idea of how long the whip and waffle has been going on for. Uh, but Darcy, she said it may be the starch that is giving Luna an upset tummy. Uh, she said her pup is a chip hound too. Uh, she said, and she's found that he seems to itch more when he gets one too many chips. Um, and sadly, he is highly allergic to grains um, and any corn is a no-no for doggies. Yeah, we have been, uh, she's been a lot better. Her appetite's definitely got a lot better than it was. Um, and we are keeping her off the chips. She's off the chips. She's on cold press food, which she seems to like. Um, I haven't quite got the freezer space to be, um, 
doing raw food all the time but cold press is the next best so yeah she seems to be doing really well on that and that has no wheat in it either no no wheat no grains um and yeah she seems to be loads better in herself which is always good we'll see how see how she goes um Cat Lady, she says she got to the Whipple Waffle a little bit late today. She said so she is going to watch it in two parts. It was quite a big whip and chat last week. Uh, I don't think I quite realised how long it went on for. The Heaven and Earth Design whip and chat was also a long one. Um, while I do a set section on my Heaven and Earth Design, it was a very, very bitty confetti section so they often take longer but it's good because you guys keep giving me comments I keep waffling and therefore I've always got comments to read out and as we've all got things to discuss ready for the next one <laughs> so we'll just keep chatting we'll keep waffling every now and then there'll be a longer one um, dependent on time or how busy my heaven and earth design section is and you can watch them in as many parts as you need to over the course of your day and how however your life is planned out at the time <coughs> uh, cat lady says she had an afternoon of sorting out the final box from when she moved almost two years ago. Oh, I bet that is a good achievement. I bet that's something that you've really liked getting, you know, finished. Uh, she said it was basically everything from her dressing table in the old house. She said she doesn't really have a dressing table in this house. Uh, so she needed to find a home for it all. Find it's, find it's new forever home. Uh, she said she too has the clear pens for wax tips. So she will be on the lookout for when we put them back in the shop. Oh, I have actually got loads of me. Let's, let's tip a load into my tray. I thought I just had the one down here and then I've seen there's a load of them. Um, so yeah, we the wax tips the what should fit our pens i've just topped up my glue dot in this pen so it's taken a little bit to calm its eagerness to stick down um yeah we're expecting the pens that the wax tips we originally got um fit soon we're also expecting wax tips that will fit the pens that we stock soon so once we can make sure that we can give them different names um, and put them you know in a way that makes sense so that people don't accidentally order the wrong ones we will be getting those up um, and available as soon as they've arrived and been sorted out and things like that but of course it's Easter weekend so there's no no post this weekend so that can sometimes slow things down a little bit um, but it's good to have it's good to have those couple of bank holidays together um, Jo she said, hi, Rebecca. She said she laughed when I read out her comment about her mystery painting. Uh, she says, because at the time I read out that she had a one mystery painting from Diamond Art Club, she now has two. Uh, she said they offered a discount code that she couldn't resist. Uh, and it became her first personal purchase of this year. Um, she bought two for her mum's friend. Uh, she says she's just voted in the poll in the group. So I did put a poll up in the Facebook group about the June waffle and what people wanted to see. 
whether they wanted to see paint gem minis, one single painting or a mixture of the two. Um, jo says she already knows what kit she will be doing and she said thank you for sharing. Well the poll in the group is at the moment 70 plus percent swung to people want me to do a single painting which I thought might be the case. I'm uh, doing both a single painting and paint gem minis um, I th that was the borderline um, that I thought may um, be chosen as much as um, doing a single painting, but a single painting is definitely winning. So I will start having a look soon and see whether it's something that I'm going to buy in from a company um, or whether it's a painting that I'm going to do from my stash. I'm not sure yet. I kind of feel like I should do one from my stash. Uh, but I know some people do like to do the same painting as me. So it will depend if I've got one in my stash that can be easily purchased. If anybody wants to do the same one, they will have that option. So yeah, I'll have a look at that soon and try and get a decision try and get a decision made and let you guys know um joe also said she says ps she says it looks like it will be an exciting year for the shop uh, she says she needs to start preparing her bank account i need to prepare mine um yeah, we do have lots and lots of things. All seem to have come at once at the moment for the shop. Um, but we, yeah, we just want to offer as many accessories and things as we can um, so that people can buy them as and when they want to as well. So while we still do the limited, uh, we are trying to increase varieties available in the shop as well. And next week's launch, the video did go up yesterday. So don't forget to check that out if you want to see what is coming next Friday. We have quite a few new things. It's actually, oh, I need a few more than that. I was just tipping out the letter E and then I've just realised that I have loads. And I'd only tipped out a very small amount. So let's fill fill this tray up a bit. Um, yeah, it took me over 20 minutes, I think, to film the video and show you everything that's coming this month. And yeah, many more exciting things to come. Um, I'm, I'm waiting, I'm expecting all of the new items to probably all arrive all at once. <laughs> And, and, and make me extremely busy, but we shall see. We shall see. Uh, Carmen, she said, hi, Rebecca. She said, just an idea about the diamond painting bits that you give away. Uh, she said, have you thought about doing an event? So could be a June event uh, and do a weekly giveaway with them. Uh, yeah, we do giveaways quite often um, with goodies that I'm sent. Uh, I have a couple. We did have some mystery bags that went up in the shop the other day. We never publicly, like, full on on the page announce mystery bags. Quite often we just put them in the shop for somebody to all of a sudden sort of find as a nice surprise occasionally we'll put some sort of teaser up but we won't actually say what things are um, to clear the way from some of the unboxings that I've done but I do have at least one probably more higher priced items that I'm happy to pass on 
to other people so we're currently thinking up the best best way to do a giveaway it may become part of june waffle it may be done at a different time um a lot of it i need to sort of organize through some bits to know first but yes there will be more giveaways coming we like to do a bit of both but the mystery bags were just to clear some space because while I may have done a shop tour that showed some space on some shelves there is no longer space on those said shelves they are all full of full of items a lot of them the ones that are coming up in this next launch but then we've also had some items arrive for future launches and yeah they're all taking up a fair amount of space so I just needed to clear the decks and that's why the mystery bags were put up a few people managed to get hold of some and say it's it's very random when they'll turn up it'll probably be at least another couple of months um, before we're ready to put any more up but we just tend to put them up on the site and don't do any announcements for those there's just not enough quantity wise uh, it tends to be very low quantity so they never last long and there's nothing worse than getting an email telling you that something's available and it be gone um, too quick uh, Jamie she says yay more two tones she says just take my money she said would you please look for a pink and teal tone uh, two please I will keep an eye out for anything like that I've not seen any of those from the suppliers we've used so far um but yeah, we'll, we'll be forever keeping an eye out for different two-tone ones. But we do have a few more in upcoming months. We tend to be doing uh, more than every other month for a two-tone. At the moment, um, we've got this, well, I've just announced in the shop video, but this next month is a repeat that was hugely requested. And there's a new one in a zesty tray. Once we have our tray storage as well, once our tray storage has arrived, I'm really looking forward to having on display the trays that are easy to see or easier than they are at the moment just stood up um, it will be very easy to see what trays we have and in what colours and we'll be doing a mixture then of um, new colour trays but then we'll be doing some where we've had it before in the big tray and we'll do it in the small or we've had it in the small and we'll do it in the big and we'll try and fill in some of those gaps in people's collections where possible and of course we will forever be on the hunt for the turquoise i still need to find a nice turquoise um yeah i think when i next place an order with one of our suppliers that's more likely to have a turquoise i might order a couple of different ones to get the color that we want because sometimes they look turquoise but they aren't the pale blue that we're actually doing as a stock color looked quite turquoisey on the site but it wasn't um it was a gorgeous pale blue, don't get me wrong, because we are now doing it as a stock colour, but it wasn't the turquoise that I thought it was going to be. So I will keep hunting. Um, Jamie also says, she says, the painting is beautiful. She says, thank you for another um, whip and waffle she said it was much needed today 
She said her dogs also can't handle potatoes um, unless they are air fried sweet potatoes. Maybe sweet potatoes aren't as starchy as normal potatoes. But yeah, we've kept we've kept her often, much to her disgust, because she loves to eat a chip, and I don't think she realises um, the consequences that she has afterwards due to eating the chips. So she looks rather forlorn when she's denied. But she'll get over it. <laughs> uh, Debbie, she said, hi, Rebecca. She said she hopes that I'm well, which I am. Thank you. Oh, I am if I can get this diamond in the right place. I am on number seven, aren't I? Yeah. Um, she said she's enjoyed having the whip and chats playing along while she diamond paints. She said she would like to go back and find some of the older whip and chats. Uh, she said her question is, what year... Did you start making your videos uh, and what made you start diamond painting? She does say this of may have already been asked. And yeah, it has been asked before, but quite a while ago from what I remember. So I'm more than happy to repeat. So videos wise, in fact, let me, let me go. Can I, will it take me all the way to the end of my videos? No, it's just taking me to the next page. I don't want the next page. It won't go all the way to the end. Because there is a load, a load of videos. And I'm trying to find when I actually posted my first one. But as I'm flipping through these pages of videos, I'm like, oh my goodness me, I'm still only on 2022. So bear with me a moment, because I will be able to tell you also roughly when I started diamond painting. Uh, my channel originally started with scrapbooking, was what I originally did. Um, and I sort of started dabbling in doing some videos for scrapbooking. Uh, but there are many, many scrapbook, you know, people on YouTube that do process videos. And some of them are absolutely beyond amazing. Um, it's unbelievable how amazing some of their work is. Um, and I found diamond painting. I actually found it because it was actually a scrapbooker that I watched on YouTube who decided to get themselves a diamond painting to give it a go. I am going to keep looking. I've just decided it's about time I put a diamond down. Um, so I'm doing that one that's staring at me. And then let's find the R and then I can do a bit of both. Um, yeah, so it was actually a scrapbooker that I followed that decided to get a diamond painting to give it a try. And I'd seen it about, uh, I think Facebook adverts kept coming up with it, but I don't tend to buy direct from any adverts. So once she showed the new kit that she got, I decided, to, I think I got my first one from Amazon. It was a partial. I don't think I knew it was a partial. I was very eager to order one that I could have next day. Um, so I decided to order one and then went looking into diamond painting more. And that's when I found out there was round and square, there was partial and not. So first up, I got... Um, this partial gave it a go when it arrived the next day absolutely loved it then went ordering some more looking for a full drill and I ordered both a square and a round one 
I think my square was a 40 by, no, my round was a 40 by 50. And then my square, because I read bigger was better, was a 60 by 90 for my next first two. Uh, I have since, of course, found out that you can get many 30 by 40s that look perfectly fine um, and don't take as much time as the large paintings. Um, but yeah, I've loved it ever since. So diamond painting wise, I posted my first, first video on the 20th of June. 2018 so nearly five years ago I posted my first diamond painting video which I thought and I think I said in it as well that you know it was a maybe it was a maybe I'll take this up maybe I'll enjoy it but won't give up scrapbooking but then the kids got older and there wasn't as many pictures to scrapbook of them, which I know I can still scrapbook some, but you you always take more when they're younger. There's always more pictures available because they're with you all the time. Um, so yeah, I, I did end up switching to diamond painting. I started on YouTube in 2016, I think. Where's my first video? Yeah, February 2016. I've actually posted 1,372 videos to YouTube. They were nowhere near as often when I first started um, posting videos. They were just as and when. Scrapbooking videos take a lot more editing. They often involve speeding up what you're doing and doing a voiceover. So there was a lot of that going on. Um, but yeah, I started on YouTube in 2016, started diamond painting in 2018, and I've not really looked back. And bit by bit, my videos just got more and more uh, to the point I think I did have them once a day for quite a while. Um, but with the shop, it's just not become practical to do one every day and keep them different. Uh, there are times I've limited myself now to five a week is what I do on this channel. At the moment, because two of them are whip and chats, so I have this whip and chat on a Sunday, and then I have a heaven and earth design whip and chat on a Thursday. I do find sometimes I could probably do six or seven, depending on if I've just finished a painting, I'm about to kit up some paintings, things like that. Uh, but I make myself spread them out because I know some weeks I might struggle. It often depends if I've got any unboxings to do um, as to, you know, how much I could squeeze in another video. Um, but yeah, I think it's working well at the moment, spreading them out, especially because I don't seem to be completing many paintings at the moment. I've got this one on the go, but because Cosmic has, Cosmic Trip has been so much fun to do, um, I've not sort of taken a break from Cosmic Trip to do this one um, and finish it off so that I can de-kit and kit up another one. Um, I'm actually trying to get another one of my paint gem mini sets finished, my Christmas paint gem mini set. I'm trying to get that finished so that I can de-kit that, but then again I'll have a few paint gem sets to kit up, but I have quite a few in my stash, so it'll probably do me good to get some of those done. Um, but yeah, once Cosmic Trip is done, I say that, 
I kind of want to kit up a Dreamer Designs painting because I can do that one. Um, I can't do the symbols on that one in winter. I can't do it with a light pad. I need to do it in daylight because the symbols aren't good enough to do with a light pad. You just can't tell what they are. It's hard work. Um, and because the clocks have now changed, I sort of want to kit that up so I can make a start. But then I also want to do an aura lower painting um, because I've not done, I've not actually completed one of them. So I want to see what they're like and get one done. And of course, I want to spin my wheel and let my wheel decide because I feel like my decision wheel has been neglected. So, choices. I just need to diamond paint this whole Easter weekend is what I need to do. Never mind anything else. I should just diamond paint for the whole weekend. Uh, and I might get Cosmic Trip done because I'm so close. Right, let me find back where I am with my comments now. Because I've just hop skipped off. Uh, so yeah, I hope that answers your questions. Debbie, who is from Canada, she said, have a beautiful day. Thank you. But yeah, nearly five years since I started diamond painting and it's not even that old of a craft. Well, it is that old, it's older than that, but um, it's not been around for years and years. It's not been around for decades. Um, like a lot of other crafts have but yeah I just don't find myself moving off it at the moment I'm absolutely loving doing it I love both round and square I love the processes of kidding up kidding down getting organized yeah just just all of it I can just sit there and watch TV or listen to a book and make something pretty while I'm at it. Uh, Jackie, she says she loved it when I commented about being a rule breaker and using metal tweezers to tweak out my glue dots in my pen last week. She said she roared with laughter because that's what she does too. We can be rebels together, Jackie. They're just so handy. They're there. You know what I mean? You're just going to use what's there, aren't you? I suppose I could get a cocktail stick and keep that handy, but I'd end up losing it. Uh, Liz, she says, thanks for a lovely whip and waffle. She said she agrees with so many of today's comments. She said you definitely have a very soothing voice. Thank you. If I ever have to shout at my kids, I will let them know <laughs> that I have a soothing voice. Though they're pretty much past that age now. Uh, she says, Cosmic is looking stunning. She says, enjoy your week. And she's looking forward to shop launch. I'm looking forward to shop launch. So many exciting goodies coming up. And I've got so many trays floating around on the shelf um, because I think I've probably made sure I've got enough of the new stock colour, just a bit too much. But I'd rather have too many than not enough. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for it. Uh, I'm hoping as well, well, I'm kind of hoping to finish um, Cosmic soon though I kind of, I don't know, it's, it's going to be weird not doing a whip and chat with it again. If, if I do get it finished, I say I have four, well, three and a half rows of cover paper left of my cover paper put like this. I have three and a half rows left. We shall see. We'll see how much diamond painting I get done versus household chores as to whether I still have another whip and chat of Cosmic in me yet or if it will be completed 
and if it will it might be a week or so before I kit it down um, because I've got I've actually got quite a few kitting up videos that I want to do and I know that sounds weird when I when I still have so many on the go but I do have quite a few kitting up videos I want to do uh, Laurie says woohoo presentation books woohoo uh, she says she has been searching high and low she says to find the right size uh, she said she was just about to ask if we could stock them and voila we will be stocking them um, she says her wish comes true she's so happy she says by the way uh, she has all of the paint gem minis except for her story and house plants. So she says she hopes that I ordered a ton of them. I did, I did. I've ordered over a hundred um, for the first stock and they are a UK supplier. So while they are waiting on restocks themselves, from their manufacturer once they have them hopefully it will be something that we can you know not have to wait to get and we can order them fairly quickly because it's their own product is the hope uh, she says she has another request um, she loves the new slimmer resin pens um, but she's wondering if we could ever uh, consider getting them a little shorter. Uh, she says she uses an Ott magnifying floor lamp and sometimes the pen knocks on the light. Um, that one will be a bit harder because those pens aren't manufactured, manufactured for us. We buy them from a supplier but not directly from the manufacturer so that's not something that we can get as easy is the wooden pen shorter though the wooden pen is shorter so maybe that would be a good one um, i'm holding it against the metal pen but they are the same as the resin pen so if we put it at the end if you can see that, let's do it that way. I am I'm moving it up and down. Uh, so the wooden pen is a shorter pen, so maybe that'll help. Uh, but we can't get the same style shorter because we don't get them directly from the people that make them. And we wouldn't be able to order the quantity to be able to get them specially made, unfortunately. So I'm glad I've helped on one. Um, she also said another by the, by the way she said she bought one of our metal silver pens she added a good metal tip and a glue dot uh, and she's had absolutely no problems going from regular diamonds to AB diamonds she says nada nil just thought that we'd like to know <laughs> yeah I can quite often um, go on AB Diamonds if my glue dot is not major new and major sticky I can move to an AB without it pulling the coating off at all uh, but because I change pens so often I do I'm forever changing my pens primarily for whip and waffles and then it will become the pen I'll use uh, for my regular diamond painting and then one of the kids will borrow it and then I'll end up switching to another pen. I never quite know how tacky my glue dots are going to be. Because of that um, I do switch to, um, I do tend to switch, if I, especially if I've got a lot, if I've only got one or two I'll just try my pen. Uh, but otherwise I tend to switch to the pickup pen because at least then I know I'm not going to rip any AB coating off. Uh, Laurie, she said she just remembered that she has another comment. 
she says usually she dots while listening to my whipping chats uh, and the waffles she says the only time she watches is the preparation videos and the de-kitting videos she says don't ask me why uh, because they're basically the same thing over and over she says but she has to watch every single minute of them you're waiting for me to drop something Laurie probably <laughs> uh, she says please don't talk to me when I'm watching them do you need silent videos Laurie or is that everybody else in the house is not allowed to talk to you um, she says well the other day she said she believes that she was watching one of my whips instead of painting she said and she absolutely wanted to slap herself she says for being such a pain to me uh, she had to point out every single diamond that I missed um, and every single one she says what a pain in the patoot she said sorry for being so obnoxious you're all right you didn't say it loud enough Laurie I didn't hear you <laughs> But yeah, I am worse for missing diamonds when I'm on a whip and chat than when I'm not. Especially a heaven and earth design. I think I had one the other week where I, I just missed so many that I had to keep going back for. It was annoying me. Uh, she said, another re remembrance. She says, the tiny zesty trays decided they like being called baby zesties. Uh, and she thinks that's cute too. So she's got a new name rather than trashies. They're called baby zesties. That's actually pretty cute. Um, she said she's also got another request. I love your comments, Laurie. She had another request. She said, could you please not talk about warm weather and hanging laundry outside, she says, for another few weeks, please. She said on Friday, they had, they still had a foot of snow on the ground. Are you in like the Utah area, Laurie? I know I could check your orders, but that's not, I don't do that on camera. I don't do checking um, because it's your information. I'm guessing. And the reason I'm guessing is I watch somebody on, I follow somebody on Instagram who's in Utah who has done nothing but comment on how the snow in Utah is ridiculous and where is the summer? Or were you in Canada? I don't even know where you live, Laurie. Um, so I try not to associate orders to people on YouTube. Um, I try not to link them up in my head because I don't want to reveal any personal information like you know what country or state they may live in by accident um when i don't discuss specific orders um in public you know like um not data protection as such but i suppose it is data protection wise it's always in my head that if people bring up what they've ordered awesome I'll discuss it um, but if people don't bring up what they've ordered then I'm not going to bring it up so yeah I'm not sure where you live but I do so so greatly feel for you with still having snow because that is just like where is spring where you are if you're getting snow what on earth is going on um she said they had four to eight inches predicted for Friday night. Uh, she said she was dotting in the afternoon and then nearly cracked her head on the ceiling uh, from jumping so high because of a loud thunderclap. And it was raining, she says, which means the snow should melt. That's normally the way it works. It rains, the snow melts. Bye bye snow. Woohoo! Um, she said wrong. She said she went to bed with raindrops on her windows um, and woke up with ice on the windows and more snow on the ground. Uh, she said, and this snow is just taking its sweet time melting. 
uh, she says, what a pain. She says she shouldn't be surprised as the central section of the state can receive snow until June. She says she's hoping it doesn't this year. Well, I will lay off any nice weather talk. Not that we have had superb weather. Um, it's not been snowing, but it takes a lot to snow here anyway. I will lay off. Let me know when you have nice weather back, Laurie, when I am clear to discuss any nice weather we may or may not be having. Um, Kaz says she is loving the Cosmic Trip Diamond Painting. She says even though she has put herself on a no-buy, she has been looking at this one and other diamond paintings. See, that's the thing with a self-appointed no-buy. It's just a rule that you can change because you made it. And if you made it, you can change it. Just saying. Little side note. Uh, ooh. I, it's actually gone quite quickly, this bit. I've only got a little bit of this X to do. A little bit more blue. Uh, Lynn, she says, hi, Rebecca. She says she is currently working on a Dreamer's Designs. She said, and she believes it's the same one that I'm itching to do. Uh, she says she has three rows left which is 18 release papers. Uh, she says she should be finished within the next two weeks. Uh, she's found the best setup for her working on this canvas is to have the light pad on the first brightness setting, so quite low. Uh, she says the drills are wonderful on the canvas. Yes, my last drills were really nice, which is why I'm persevering with the canvas, because the drills are nice and it looked good when it's finished. Um, she says they fit together beautifully uh, and she has a place to hang it up as well. She said she will post her completion on the Facebook group so that I can see it. And she said once she found the best light pad setting for it, she really enjoyed doing it. I'll have to try mine on a dim setting then. Mine's actually one where you have to press and hold to adjust the settings. Um, it, it dims and, and goes brighter rather than having stages. So I'll have to see how dim I can get it to go. Okay, so I've finished that section. So let's have a look at what's next. Oh, I actually don't have any of that W that I've just done. I don't have any over there either. Now, I am no way gonna get this section finished on today's Whip and Waffle because I'm already getting closer to the hour mark. But I do kind of want to do just just a smidge more, just just a little bit longer. So I'm going to uncover it all just on the basis it saves me fighting with these tubs as often, tipping in and tipping out, and getting them caught in the little grooves. But I don't know how many more colours I'll get done before. Um, I reach, I reach around an hour um, because I do also want to get a kitten up video done um, before I sign off for the weekend. Uh, Jeep Girl Stitches, she says she has loved spended, spending time with me while she has de-kitted one diamond painting and kitted up her next. Can you de-kit in before you kit up? It's the way forward, says the person who's about to kit up a few paintings uh, in up the upcoming next few weeks. Uh, she says Cosmic Trip is looking fab and she hopes all is well. Much love. Thank you. Yes, everything is Good, good, good. 
Um, I'm in for a weekend of pottering around the house and hopefully extra diamond painting time as well. Uh, Anna, she says she got her dynamic floral. She also said that she got her paint gem display box and black paper stock all from Amazon. Um, I'm not sure what country you are in, Anna, but A5, finding A5 in the US is, seems to be a lot, um, seems to be the main problem. A5 isn't a standard paper size in the US. So finding those ones um, and the same brand that I use is a UK company. Um, but yeah, we'll be stocking them and it will be options for people then if they do struggle to get hold of them. Um, you'll be able to get them from us and slap a few in with your order while you're at it if you want. Um, we're also going to be getting some cardstock as well so that we can offer that again in the A5 size for anybody that struggles getting hold of that. Uh, Mary Ann, she says two questions. She says, What does the waffle mean in whip and waffle? So, waffle is like chatter, chattering, uh, going off on a little bit of a tangent, talking a lot about one topic, talking a lot about nothing sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just another word for sort of chatting. But a lot of it is going off on a tangent and just random thoughts that might pop into my head while I'm diamond painting, while I'm reading out your guys' comments. Something may enter my head that is connected. Sometimes it might enter my head something that's not connected. And I will just chat to you guys about it because, yeah, we're having a little... A little chitter chatter diamond painting party at the moment. Um, she also says, she says, why aren't you supposed to use metal tweezers on metal tips? Um, so the manufacturers of the metal tips do suggest that you don't use metal. That is because, I mean, while the metal tips are a whole lot tougher than the brass tips that you get in normal pens so you get the plastic part with a little little tiny brass part on the end uh, brass is a very soft metal so it can bend quite easy and disfigure the shape which is why a lot of us have moved to the metal pens because they don't disfigure the same however metal on metal can cause dints in the metal if if somebody you know is is a bit rough when they take out a glue dot they may bend the metal tip you'd have to be fairly rough with it to do it but it could happen um so yeah just to cover all eventualities they suggest that you don't use metal to take anything or to poke into the tip in case you bend it whereas if you use wood for example it would softer and therefore you'd be less likely to damage your metal tip uh, but as long as you're careful i th i think there's there's not particularly a problem um, be careful and if you have been too heavy-handed don't go moaning to the manufacturer that the product's wrong because you've done something wrong. Take ownership. And if I end up damaging one of mine due to using tweezers and potentially doing it at the wrong angle or being too rough, then I'll just take ownership of it um, and probably tell myself off for being stupid and move on with my life. But yeah. That, that's mainly the reason they suggest not to use it because it can metal on metal can scratch and could potentially damage them. Uh, Wondrous Natures says she loves the blue pen that I used in last week's Whip and Chat, which is our light blue resin pen or light blue thin resin pen. 
she asks if we sell them. Yes, they are available in our shop. Um, I tend to use in Whip and Chats pens that either are stock available in our shop or are maybe the limited edition for that month. Um, I tend to try and keep them relevant. Once a limited edition pen has sold out, I try not to then use it in a Whip and chat. And then I have many pens that I have been gifted by beautiful people and have picked up from other places. I tend to use those in my June waffles uh, and my advents. I tend to use a different pen each day. Um, throughout my June waffle and I tend to use some of the limited edition trays that we've had in the past during my June waffles but I try and avoid them in my week on week weapon waffles. I try to keep those to the current trays, the tray that's just been launched or something that is coming soon and um, that you will have the opportunity to get your hands on um, throughout my weekly ones. Uh, Crafty Mindy, she says she always enjoys my whip and chats as she works on her own. She said it gives her permission, she said, to take that all too precious me time. Perfect. Perfect. You should always take that bit of me time, even if it's just 10 minutes. Um, she says she can't wait for the launch of that gorgeous new standard Robin Egg Blue Tray. She says my uh, no buy is going to end on that day and she said it's totally worth it. Well, yeah, that one is out next Friday is the launch of our blue tray which is going to be a standard stock colour so it'll be one that will be available going forward as well not just limited to april right what do i want to do next do i want to do the number two or do I want to do some of these darker letters? I feel like I want to do some of these darker letters. So I'm going to do the letter E first. Let's see, let's see how far we get. I might have to wrap this up soon. Uh, Helen, she says, is the new tray storage you're talking about? She said, are they suitable for having the trays filled with drills? Uh, so you could have multiple colours out and usable. Um, she says, not sure about previous conversations, she said, and whether this is possible or not. Um, I believe it's perfectly possible from the tray storage that is on its way or is being shipped out any day to us um, and will be on a boat on its way to our fair house. Um, yeah, I believe it's perfectly usable as um, storage that you can use while you're actually diamond painting. It's pretty sturdy, or at least I believe it's pretty sturdy. Um, it can be wall mounted. So if you are, you know, if you do work in an area that can maybe on a desk, but that it can get knocked, potentially, um, you have got the option to attach it to a wall. Or indeed, you could find maybe something else, some other way of using the... Um, using the brackets on the back that allow you to hook it onto a wall to hook it onto something else as well. Um, I've not found a problem, like I've not knocked it over. Um, my one sample, I'm waiting for a lineup of three or four to be able to enjoy taking pictures of pretty trays. 
the large tray, so the Add More Zest tray in it. Have I got an Add More Zest tray? Let me grab one off the shelf. Um, just because my Add More Zest trays are currently on this storage. Um, so they slot in sidewards um, and these trays, um, the, the storage sort of, it's hard to describe. Um, the, the side parts end about here. So this part of the tray, just this little part, sits just outside the storage, which allows you to see all of the colour, which is what gives it the gorgeous rainbow colour. Um, but it also allows you to grab this and take your tray out. So my plan, um, the zesty one, you can sit it the same way if you want, or you can sit it fully inside because it's smaller. Um, my plan is to actually number these trays on the side uh, for two projects I think I'm going to do it with. So I think I'm going to do it with June Waffle and I'll still have a kit up where my diamonds will go but then I will have trays numbered as well. So in effect I'm going to be numbering twice um, and I'm going to have trays on the storage that I use while doing the waffle so that I am not tipping trays out sorry tipping diamonds out of my storage trays and tipping new ones in I'm just switching my trays over I'm quite excited for that I'm also thinking of doing the same thing so having a selection of trays that are numbered up for my Heaven and Earth design, my second one. So my small one with only 15 colours. I'm thinking of having one of those pre-trays as well so that I can do my Heaven and Earth design section a day quicker. So that's, that's my thoughts. Um, but I will, of course, do a video, show really clear pictures, all the rest of it about it um, when they're here. The difference is, as I say, I have one sample at the moment. I don't have any more. Um, and I want to mess with a few different ways of displaying um, both the big tray and the smaller tray um, for people like me who can't wait to have both in the storage um, so that you know I have them lined up which is another reason we want to fill in some of the gaps in colours that we may not have um, but yeah, I, I also want to mess about and have, you know, a nice rainbow colour that just holds the big tray and some that just holds the small tray and shows the different ways that you can use it. And of course, we'll do a video on that as well. Um, but yeah, I kind of feel like I need more than one to show you that all properly. So as as soon as we can get that done we'll of course let you know um if i do find some time i might try and do some videos with the one that we have while we're waiting for the next one but no promises on that because my to-do list at the moment is uh yeah I, I just i just need every day to be two days long but anyway i'm gonna leave it there um, I've got a few of the colours done on this section. There's enough there for me to be able to stick my cover sheets back on. And this will be back week after next um, for a whip and waffle. And then maybe I'll be able to get some done in my own time um, and get sped through. But... Who knows what will happen. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me and I'll speak to you all again soon.